Hey guys, I know it's been a while. Um, I've just been super busy and there's a lot of things going on in my life and I will make an update video for you sometime soon once I have things more figured out because just there's so much things up in the air. But I thought um, that I would start vlogging um, so I'm just using my cell phone instead of my whole setup because it's just a lot easier, especially with everything going on right now, to just vlog um, for you guys instead of like official like researched videos and stuff and um, just kind of talk to you about what's going on and thoughts that I have every day because um, I don't know things just come up and then I write them down most of the time and then I just haven't got around to filming them so mm. anyways <clears throat> I feel like this is really high. I am still in my pajamas. <laughs> and I haven't really done anything yet for today. And it's uh, 11.30. So, you know, winning at life. Yeah. Um, but I thought I would talk to you guys about something that's kind of been on my mind a lot lately, something God's really put on my heart. So for those of you who know me personally, know that I have a shopping addiction. Um, I think I've mentioned it in a couple of my videos before, but I am not 100% sure. Um, so I have a bit of a shopping addiction and recently I realized that um, my addiction was a little bit, I don't like calling it an addiction, but like I'm addicted to things and I think in a way I was kind of um, idolizing things versus um, getting my joy from God and so I would go shopping a lot and buy things because the act of shopping made me happy and having things made me happy when I bought them and then like two days later I like I would go and I would go and buy a bunch of stuff and then two days later I would feel like I didn't have things and like there was nothing in my closet to wear and there like I just I didn't feel like I had a lot of stuff and I felt like I was lacking and I just wasn't satisfied satisfied and most importantly I was just not grateful for what I did have and I have so much more than than like most people not necessarily in the western culture that we have but um, so much more than, like, people in the world on a whole. Um, so, like, I have nothing to, like, want for. And I was listening to an Andy Stanley, um, podcast, and he was talking, uh, out of hair on my tongue. Um, he was talking about, um, it was a series called Fear Not, or, no, it was the end commandments, so, like, things not to do and God tells you not to fear. And how fear back then for what you were going to wear, where your food was going to come from, for shelter, um, those were real fears and people were, you know, scared. And I think, um, in a way, like, I, I was kind of falling into that, like, my hoarding complex and my I need to have stuff and buy stuff um I just and like hold on to things just in case um just because I didn't know like if I would need it again one day and um what if I don't have money later so like let's buy it now and like even if it's something that I probably will never actually use so it was kind of like crazy that um, I was so worked up about all of that. So, I don't know, like, I just, it was something that I've been praying about for like the past four months um, and just being grateful in the things that I have. 
Um, and then I read, or I didn't read, but I uh, listened to uh, Mary, Marie Kondo's audiobook, um, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Um, and the... She talks about how um, her whole thing is spark joy, and I'm sure you've heard about this a million times, and there's so many videos on YouTube um, about spark sparking joy and her book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. And, um, but the whole idea is to hold the item in your hand. I'm just holding my pillow. Um, and see if it, it sparks joy. And if it sparks joy, you keep it. Um, and if it doesn't spark joy, you get rid of it. Um, and the reason for doing that is because people have so many things that we we can't appreciate all of them. And there's just too much stuff in our life. And, and she's not trying to get you to get rid of, like, X number of items or you should only have this much in your life. But to just curate the space around you and make it um, a space that makes you happy and a space that um, sparks joy and is just going to bring that happiness for you. So that's something that I've been working on is kind of... Um, going through all my stuff and in her method to just like get rid of stuff. And I, I realized that, um, I don't think I could ever be a minimal minimalist, but like in like, if you were to imagine a minimalist with like all white and like very little things and like, I don't know the whole like stereotype minimalist, but like I'm definitely moving towards a more minimal lifestyle um, I still have so much stuff and I'm actually moving at the end of this month. So I'm hoping that once I box everything up, take it to the new location, in the unboxing process, I'll realize things like it'll be a lot easier to have everything together and grouped together um, and only take out the things that really spark joy for me. Um, that way I can truly be grateful for all I have. And I think... That was um, something that I was a little bit sinful in, and I don't know if it's if gluttony is the right word because we typically associate gluttony with food, um, like eating too much. But I think we can be gluttonous in our things, and I think that's something that I was very sinful in. In that I just I have so much stuff and I don't appreciate it, and I mean. I just, I feel like, I felt like I was lacking always, even though I had an abundance, um, and God really has provided, and I really can't want for anything. I've always had a roof over my head. I've had more than enough clothes. I've had all the food I could possibly want in my fridge, so, like, it's crazy to think that, um, I... I ever had these thoughts that I didn't have enough and that um, I was lacking and that I needed more because I really didn't need more. I needed less so that I could appreciate what I did have. Anyways, um, I think that's going to be it for today, but I will check in more regularly. Um, I'm going to try to blog a little bit more with things that are on my mind, things that I'm going through, and this whole minimal journey. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing um, all of my stuff when I move, what I think I'm going to do is maybe film all of the things that I have and then kind of show you what I keep and what I don't keep. Um, and maybe take you through that journey with me. I mean, I have already started it to an extent, uh, but not really. Mm. But I am feeling a lot happier now that I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff. I mean, um, so when I started this process, I got rid of five garbage bags of things and like of clothes, and I couldn't believe I had so much. Um, and then um, I 
divided my stuff into like seasons and I boxed away the seasons which now I know that Marine Kondo doesn't advise that but I'm doing that for now um just because there's no point in unpacking it knowing that I'm gonna be packing it up in a week in not in a week but like in a couple weeks and I'm not gonna use them before then so it doesn't make sense um to do that but um since going through um, and like I had out only 40 pieces of clothing. So I chose, um, I only allowed myself to have 40 pieces. So, um, I like really tried on the spark joy thing. Oh, I said I was going to end this video, but I'm still blabbing. But, um, I really tried on the spark joy thing and, um, I still had a lot and, so I counted them up and I was like, okay, I'm only going to have 40 pieces of clothing that's like not including like my interview outfits and like work clothes and gym clothes and pajamas, like excluding all of that, like clothes to wear to parties and wear to every day and just like all of those clothes that don't have a specific, um, important role I chose 40 of my favorite ones so like that it would only be the things that really really spark joy in me because I think 40 was definitely a number that I felt was attainable and things that I could uh, work with since then I have gotten rid of two more garbage yeah um so in my sorting things out. I got rid of winter clothes. I got rid of summer clothes. And, um, every day, like I'll go to my closet or not really my closet cause it's all open, but I'll go to my like clothing area and, uh, like there'll be things that I haven't worn in forever. And I'm like, okay, I'm making a point to wear this today. This sparks joy in me. I'm making a point to wear it. And a lot of the time, like I find that once they're on and I'm having a much more intimate, um, experience with them, they're not sparking joy. Like I don't feel like myself. I don't like how they look on me. They're not comfortable or there's like something about them that bothers me. So I've definitely, um, narrowed my things down even more. Um, and there's a few pieces that, um, since then I've worn out like literally so that they're like see-through or have holes all in it or <laughs> that kind of stuff. So definitely I've got the clothes thing down packed. Well, not really because I still have more sorting to do, but yeah, I'm just trying to be really appreciative of the things I do have instead of, um, lusting for things that I don't. So that's my thoughts for today. I'm going to go now because I can talk forever, but um, it was nice catching up with you guys and I will definitely see you guys soon. Bye.